слишком грустные лица. To what extent does the satellite that is being developed here comprehend to NASA's previous jobs or previous projects? Okay, so it's important to understand that what the girls are doing with the development of this CUBE satellite mm -hmm. is a demonstration, right? It's a technology demonstration being used as an educational activity. The, what we do in NASA when we are developing these kind of CUBE satellites is more for science because we have been in the business of space a very long time so we know how to do this and so we are doing it for the purpose of real science gathering data measurable data that we can learn from the girls are in a different stage they are at the rudimentary stage and so what they are developing is an educational tool to demonstrate the capability of them being able to build this satellite. Hmm. Okay, and in what way do these studies serve as a kind of uh, possible development of our country? So this goes a long way in the development of your country. Mm -hmm. um, developed countries around the world have a value in science and technology and research and development. Mm -hmm. And so by the girls doing this and laying the foundation for a strong um, track in science and technology, this is going to go a long way for the development of Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and another question about you. What the personality traits you develop at the stage of being at this career stage? Oh my gosh. For me, it's being driven. So that's one of my traits. I'm very driven, very ambitious, and very passionate about what I do. But I also have developed over you know, my young career, um, years ago, an ability to think critically and to solve problems. And so those are the tools and the skill sets that I use in everyday, my everyday life and most importantly, in my career. What kind of barriers you, did, uh, you, you had in your way? Oh my God. Lots of barriers. Lots of barriers. I am a woman and I am a woman of color mm -hmm. in an, a field that is very dominated by men, males all across the globe, yes, not yes, just yeah. in the U US, right? So oftentimes I am not, people one, don't recognize that I am a rocket scientist, if they don't know me, they would not expect that. But two, they don't um, often give me the benefit of the doubt that I am as smart as they are and that I can do the job. And so I'm always having to prove that I can, you know, I am as smart as anybody else and I can, you know, I can do any task that you give me to do. I may not know how to do it, but I have a a thinking mind and I can figure out how to do it and I will do it with excellence. Mm -hmm. I think you have very big passion and tolerance in this way, yeah? Um, not sometimes I don't actually. Sometimes I, <laughs> I get, sometimes I get frustrated and, um, but I believe in myself. I have learned to believe in myself and so that belief in myself allows me to block out all the negativity around me or that comes at me and allows me to continue advancing forward. Mm. Okay, another question. What helped you with the ongoing issue of gender inequality in the science field? Um, so I said this is a male dominated field, yes. of course, and I am one of few women. So in the US, thir less than 30% of all females are scientists and engineers in the whole workforce. And a woman of color like me is in in the single digits of percentage. So I am not. Um, there are not many people who look like me who do this. Um, and so, what I do in terms of battling inequality is efforts to encourage more young women to get into this field, mm -hmm. and more young women of color to get into this field. 
because ultimately we do want parity and we do want equality in the sciences. As in, and it's important for countries to know that women make up 50% of your population. And if you are going to continue to advance and to develop, especially economically and sustainably, it's important to have that 50% included in your development. But it's very hard. It's very hard, yeah. but it's not impossible. And we need strong and courageous, courageous leadership mm -hmm. to set the tone for, for, this, for this area and to say that we are not going to tolerate inequality and we are going to do everything we can to put measures in place to ensure that women are included and to break down the barriers that hinder women from being included. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question. Could you discuss in the depth about the competition that you faced during your career uh, with uh, male? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a, always a pretty... Uh, maybe you can remember, I don't know, example, example. Uh, one day. <laughs> yeah, um, well, actually, always when you were going for a promotion mm -hmm. or you are going for a new role, a new position, and you have to, it's a competitive process, mm -hmm. so you are having to compete um, with many different people. I remember um, I got accepted, I competed for an assignment in Washington, D.C. at NASA headquarters two years ago, a 14-month assignment, and one, I had to compete um, across my center, Johnson Space Center, mm -hmm. for this very high-level leadership position. And I made it, I was the number one candidate mm -hmm. out of Johnson. And then I had to compete across all of NASA oh. to get the position. So many layers of competition. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, end of that, you have to do an interview to see if you're gonna be the one selected. Luckily, I was the one selected. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a competitive environment and we're always having to compete with each other and you just have to show that you can do the job and that you have demonstrated with your past experiences that you can do the job. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is your wishes to Kyrgyz girls? My wishes to Kyrgyz girls is that they believe that they can do anything they put their minds to. Anything? Anything. And that they are the future, even space. And they are the future for other little ones other young girls mm -hmm. coming up. They, these young girls are looking to them for inspiration and for guidance. Um, and so that, that oh, who they was serve. Your inspiration, who was my I have I have had many over the course of my life, mm -hmm. but I would say one, the women in the movie Hidden Figures for sure. Oh. Um, are my role models, mm -hmm. and I am clear that I stand on their shoulders. They paved a path mm -hmm. that I have been able to walk on. If they didn't do what they did back then in 1960, I would not be sitting here with you today. So for sure, those women. Um, but my other role models are people like Martin Luther King mm -hmm. and Nelson Mandela, um, who, you know, were ordinary people who did extraordinary things and had a commitment to love and service um, and, to, and to making a difference in our world. Mm -hmm. And those are the people I look up to. That's and of course, my mom, I can't leave out my mom because without her, I wouldn't be sitting here. Mm -hmm. She was the one who fostered an environment at home mm -hmm. that I was able to develop the kind of skills that ultimately made me successful in my career. Mm -hmm. So role of the mother is a big thing. Absolutely. Role of the mother is critical. And the father, especially for girls. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.